And welcome back to News Now. The annual Jamestown Christmas Parade and Holiday Celebration is set for tomorrow right here in downtown Jamestown. Marketing and Events Manager for the Jamestown Renaissance Corporation, Zach Agate, is here now with a parade preview. Zach, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. So a lot of people turn out to these events, to, to the parade event. It's pretty famous in Jamestown. It's gotten a lot of coverage. I guess, what can we expect this year? I mean, it is the biggest one-day event I think we have in Jamestown in the year. We usually have between six and 10,000 people. Um, it's great. We have the Research Center back sponsoring again as the presenting sponsor, and we'll have the annual tree lighting. That'll be about 640 after with a national anthem to follow, and then we'll be doing the entire parade and we'll end with Santa and a good fireworks show for everyone. So that's exactly, exciting. <laughs> exactly. So for your job, I'm sure, is it a lot of work trying to get things together? What do you do specifically? So, I mean, the biggest thing has been collecting applications and getting all that set up, but working with the city to make sure we have everything they need permit-wise and having the parks, the parks department has been great. The parks department has been great setting everything up and the holiday decorations look awesome, but the police department, the fire department, they all are involved with making sure everything's running smoothly and the BPU with some power and it's exactly. great. So <laughs> everyone's helping out everyone. And so. that's really what this parade is about. And we've mm -hmm. seen over the last few years of, of people really coming together. I know I was last year that I think Canine Mitchell mm -hmm. was yeah. honored with the parade. Who, who are you guys honoring this year? So this year our Grand Marshal is Russ Dietrich. Uh, the, it fit with our, we have a Winter Olympics, Winter Games theme this year because the Winter Olympics are this coming winter ish right. <laughs> it's february, february it yeah. is february uh so we decided it'd be great to have someone who gave back to the sports world but has also done so much for jamestown and russ was the perfect choice i mean he's done so much for the area and he's such a big name so we're excited that he said yes and it's going to be a great market that's so, awesome that's yeah. awesome so parade wise how many how many uh i guess i don't want to necessarily use the word floats <laughs> right but how many uh folks are going to be involved so we typically say units just because some of them aren't floats we right. encourage people to at least decorate what they're putting in right. uh you as should of put christmas lights <laughs> on your car you know <laughs> yes as of this morning we had uh 77 units at this point and some of those might have one or two and uh sometimes people show up last minute and you, you might not be in the parade book but at least we probably won't turn you away. So right. exactly, exactly. <laughs> yes. So and can we look forward to candy again this year? Oh, I'm sure there will be candy. And a reminder to everyone: do not throw your candy if you're in the parade. Please hand it. Let's right. not have any accidents or have kids running in the road. So. Even though Russ Dietrich <laughs> is the grand marshal, we don't want any of those baseball. No, throws, none of those. Right? Not, <laughs> please hand it out. Yeah, keep that to the field, please. So right. all right. Well, Zach, uh, thanks for for being with us yeah. and, and coming in today. And we will definitely look forward. Um, to the parade, you can watch that live right here on Facebook. We got a got a great view of Third Street out awesome. our window, so be sure to tune into that uh, this Friday. Thank so you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks thank for you. coming in. <laughs>